Hey now, what's happening? So this uh, video has been like a long time coming. I've always wanted to do an actual tutorial on how to etch circuit boards using common off-the-shelf materials, uh, except that the copper board that we're going to be using is not off-the-shelf per se. It's uh, ordered from eBay, or has been ordered from eBay. Uh, anyway, let's go ahead and start. So the end goal here is we're trying to take a electronic schematic like this one that I'm actually building for a power supply that I'm making here. Uh, so the goal is we're trying to take a on-screen schematic and a piece of copper board that you would normally order from eBay or wherever you happen to be ordering copper boards from uh, and turn that into a fully functioning uh, printed circuit board like this uh, that we could actually uh, solder uh, components onto. I don't know if you can see these, but there's some resistors there. There's a crystal oscillator and a seat for an AT mega chip as well as an LED. Uh, so that's that's the goal here. So we're gonna go. I'm gonna go over a few materials. What you actually need first. Here are all the stuff you're gonna need to transfer your completed circuit onto a copper clad board. You're gonna need some photo paper. Uh, high gloss photo paper is best. Works best. You're going to need a laser printer to print the design. Inkjet printers will not work. Uh, you're gonna need an iron, piece of cardboard to iron onto so you don't wreck your table. This is a shitty table, so I don't really care. Uh, cotton swabs or some kind of cotton-like thing to clean the board. Uh, something to put the chemicals in. A abrasive brush of some kind. Um, common table salt pure white vinegar, hydrogen peroxide, and nail polish remover. All right, let's get started. Okay, so the first thing we're gonna do is go ahead and clean this copper board because when you get them, they're probably not clean. Uh, this one's a little bit corroded and stuff as you can see here. So I'm just going to get some of this nail polish remover. And open it probably. Take a cotton swab or a q tip, whatever you call it. And just clean this up. Hope you guys like the music that's playing in the background because I'm just sort of bored and I like listen to music. So it's just a local radio station here. So I'm just going to wet that like that doesn't really seem to be doing much um, and then I'm going to take this and just scrub this So basically you just want to keep scrubbing the copper board until it's like super shiny. Um, you don't want to have any black traces or grease or anything on there. Uh, if it's, if uh, you take the um, nail polish remover and dip one end of a cotton swab in there and then wipe the surface, if it comes out black like that or any degree of black, keep on scrubbing and keep on cleaning it with, with the alcohol or with um, this uh, nail polish remover until it's 100% clean because you don't want any grease on there from your fingers or any dirt or dust uh, because that will affect the uh, ability for the transfer to actually stick on there. there. So I'm pretty happy with the way that turned out. So now I'm just going to place it on the cardboard here and then grab your um, printed out design. Keep in mind that it has to be printed on glossy photo paper. And of course, make sure when you go into print it, uh, make sure that it's upside down so that when you iron it onto your uh, copper piece, it's actually the right side up. And then just iron it on, make sure it's full power.
apply some steam. And you want to press really, really hard. After you're done ironing on the uh, design onto the copper, just throw the copper plate into a bunch of water. Careful, it'll be really hot. And let it soak there for about 10 minutes or 15 minutes. Basically, uh, the ironing, what that will do is actually cause the toner from the printer to stick onto the copper. Now, at this point, what you want to do is have the paper fully soaked in water so that you can actually peel it off, getting rid of all the paper, and just the toner will stay on the copper. At this point, if the paper starts to bubble, you can try and peel off the paper, and hopefully the toner sticks. If the toner pulls up, you'll have to redo the whole process all over again, because you'll have broken traces in the copper, and that's bad. I ripped off the bulk of the paper here, and it looks like everything is still intact, so that's pretty good. Uh, the only thing to do now is let it soak a bit more. So uh, the goal here is to clear all the all the space in between the traces of paper, and just have that toner left there. All right. So there's the circuit board with all the paper removed. Um, best thing to do really is get something sharp, like a meter probe, for example. That's what I use, and just make sure there's no paper left in between the traces. Otherwise. Um, the uh, chemicals won't dissolve uh, all the copper that needs to be dissolved. So it looks like everything worked out uh, except for right there. I don't know how well it's going to show up on the camera. But right there's a bit of a nick missing in this trace. And it's actually, uh, well it's going to be all power traces because this is a power circuit. Uh, but what this part of the circuit does is actually take, uh, is actually take uh, 12 volts here and feed it into uh, no sorry this is ground is this ground yeah this is a ground rail here so that might be okay actually but if it is a problem i'll just solder a piece of magnet wire from this point to that point just to kind of complete that trace but it should be okay so now we're ready to dissolve the copper so this is kind of the fun part we're actually going to make the solution to dissolve the copper now and all that is basically is white vinegar. Just no, I didn't open this yet. No, oh, it is open. Just a little bit of white vinegar, about half, say. Half white vinegar, and half hydrogen peroxide. The proportions don't really have to be exact. Just try to get them half and half, and then just dump it in there, and then add some salt. It's like making a cake, really. And then just wash it around, and give it about 10 to 20 minutes, and then all the copper should be dissolved. If not, just add more salt and keep uh, making the solution go over the print circuit board and should be good. So a few, uh, couple minutes in already you can kind of see the green coming off the board. That's the copper being dissolved away. I guess I should also mention you probably want to do this in a uh, ventilated room um, since the fumes coming off here are probably not good for you. So now that all the copper is dissolved off, the only thing left to do is remove the toner. Once the toner is removed, you'll be left with uh, straight up copper traces. So, I put a blob of hot glue there where that trace was broken, and it looks like it worked out. So, 
So if I take that blob of glue lock, you get a nice blob of copper there. You can see it. Yeah. So anyway, I'm gonna take this nail polish remover again. And I'm just gonna scratch off the toner. Once all the toner is washed off, there's the final product.